Guys, welcome back to Garage Builds. I'm gonna do the oil change on this puppy. Let's see. Ooh, messy trunk. Man. All right, we got some towels. I got the oil. You know, we gotta keep it clean. Always get yourself some shop towels. We got ourselves some good old, good old Castro for the high mileage. You know, it's the good stuff. We got the filter right here. We got a K and N. If any of you guys have a Civic Si, here's a part, so you don't have to be going looking it through through the book or whatever. HP 1010 for the on the Civic Si is from 06 to 09, I think. Got a treater. It's her time. All right. Always make sure whenever you. Well, this this jack's all right, but if you guys don't have a three-ton jack, make sure you always always use jack stands whenever you're going under a car because the last thing you want is for a car to be squishing. You. So let's get to it. So before we get to it, you gotta make sure you got all your tools, paper towels, your wrenches. You can have one bolt. There's just one bolt to do your oil change. And if you know, if you know, you know, this is where I get the oil. Walmart special. Cause you know, most of the people go to AutoZone. But if you know, you know. If you didn't know, now you know. And that's where you can get your cheaper stuff. Like your oil filters and the oil, way cheaper than all the From here, I think I got this kind of here. This thing's a lifesaver. If you guys ever took your throttle bodies or anything, you need to reset its values. This thing right here, 150 bones, but it'll save your life. Right now, we got the light on. You're gonna need your your funnel, your cone, so you can put the oil. You don't make a mess. You're gonna need your your pan, your towels, and some wrenches. That's all you need for this job. So first, because you can just unplug this. Just take out the capsule. The oil can flow a lot faster to the bottom. You're not gonna wait an eternity. Let's put this right here. Okay. So you go into your car. And you get your wrenches. Once you get here to the oil pan, you're gonna have this one bolt right here. Always look for the. It's gonna look like a box. In case you've never been down here, transmission is gonna look like that. And there's gonna be your oil pan, it's gonna look like a box. And then you're always gonna look at the back part. That's the back of the car. All right, now that we got you guys down, always remember, lefty loosey, righty tidy. Always remember that. You don't wanna strip your bolts or something. So, make sure you get a good grip on this. Just give it a couple of hits. Now this thing is tight. Oh, come on, bro. There we go. Now all you gonna do is give it some good little hits. And it'll come out. All right, so before you do anything after this, make sure you got your oil pan down here. Get your oil pan. Don't put it like right here. Always put it like a little bit ahead because 
gonna square it out. That's what she said. Alright. Get yourself some paper towels. Cause you're gonna need to you're gonna need somewhere to put your bolt. I'm gonna get myself a paper towel right here. I'm gonna do this clean. You see how clean this old pen is? Let's keep it like that. Okay. What I like to do, I like to unscrew it till it doesn't so it doesn't unscrew anymore and just keep on holding it. Okay, see how it's not coming out anymore? You know it's at the end. So you just get ready. Like, ready, go. There we go. Woo! She was dirty, dirty. It was her time. So now you got your bolt right here. Clean it up. Then just let that, let that drain. Oh my God. That thing looking like dark coffee, man. Shit. Okay. Good thing we're gonna feed her with some good While juice. You that drain, make sure your cap is off. So Eric can go through. Right here, we got some casserole, 10 W30. Always go to, always go for what your cap says. Well, this one doesn't have it. But uh, some caps will tell you what kind of oil you gotta use. For these, usually it's 1030. But some people like to use 1040. Once you're, in my opinion, once your miles are starting to go up, I kinda go up a little bit on here. So like, on this car that I have 120,000 miles, I like to use this 10W30. But other like my Integra, I like to use 1040. Cause you know that thing's on no mileage, probably like 200k. So, yep. And you know, don't. I don't. If you don't have it, you don't have it. But try not to be cheap with the oil filters. Cause to be honest, I've always bought the cheap ones. I didn't really care. But if you look into here, you'll see that K&M filters have a lot of holes for the oil to go in. And I'll show you once I take the one that's in here, I'll show you that it has less. Okay, so for most cars, you don't have to do this, but most of the cars are going to have the oil filter at the bottom or it's going to be visible through the back. But in this occasion, we have the Civic Si. You're going to have to take out the side trims. Then we're going to have to, to be honest, this is my first time doing oil change on a Civic Si. This is, this is my first time I ever have one. All the cars I ever had, I never had to take off the trims or anything to get to the back. But the way this car was made, you have to. So first you're gonna have to get this one to two piece up. Okay. So once you got this piece out, don't forget you're gonna have a the hose for the Over here for the for the wipers. You just unplug it from here. It has a little connection right here. So once you get that unplugged, you get all your trim pieces. Put them on the side. Man, I'm gonna restore these. I don't really like how they look. See how that looks? That looks black. That looks super faded. I'm gonna buy the little restorer. And I'm going to restore that. Let me know if y'all want to see a video of how I restore that, so make it look like new again. Uh, <coughs> the last piece, you have to take out this little metal thing. It's gonna have, supposed to have two bolts, but well, three, but now only only got two for quick release. <laughs> and you're gonna have down here. You don't got nothing. Go to this side. Same thing. The two top ones, and you have one right there. That one right there. So once you get those bolts, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna look like this. Okay, so once you get that heat shield thing or whatever you want to call it, you get down back here, and your oil filter is gonna be right. Oh, almost got you right there. Right about there. 
see that. So, and before before you get your oil filter, make sure it comes out here. Wipe this off real quick. Put your bolt back in. You can leave a hand tie for right now, or you just tie it up, doesn't matter. What you're gonna wanna do, put the scoot over his oil pan. Be careful, it don't spill it all over your concrete. You leave it about, about there. Cause once you take off the oil filter, the oil that's in the filter and the extra oil is gonna fall down. So we're all good right. about there. So now to take off your oil filter, you're gonna need one of these little tools. This is a universal one, so it's almost for almost any size. But if you, you have the clamp, people still pop your fireworks. Happy New Year's, by the way. I know I'm a little late, but still here. So, yeah, let's get to it. Now, let me show you what I was trying to tell you guys. Look at that. And it has a little hexagon in the back. In case you don't have the tool, you can use a wrench. I heard that the filters inside are better quality too. Oh crap, made a little mess. All right, so now that we got this bad boy in, they just go down there and clean the little bit of mess that's left. Once we're done putting the the old filter and you cleaned up everything up there you're gonna come down here tighten up your bolt remember really tidy oh, this way. let's give it like give it a couple of taps wipe it one more time make sure everything's clean okay it's so time to add the oil and if you don't know how much oil your car takes, make sure you search it up. Or you could just add little by little and check the dipstick. Look at that goldness. Drink, my precious. Drink. Shout out to Samet. Even though he does it with the gas. But they drink both. Gas and oil. Bye. 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 My little nephews getting picked up. Alright, let me get back to you guys once I'm done. <clears throat> Make sure you don't just pour the whole bottle in there, whole five quarts, unless your car takes five quarts. Keep on putting your dipstick in there. Keep on checking the level. See, we're almost there. Just needs a little bit more. Because if you if your car only takes four quarts and you add the five, say bye bye to your engine. Then we should be fine with that. It's more than enough. Okay. your cap back on make sure it's tight you don't want to have oil all over your engine bay for not tying up your oil cap look at that perfect see why it's right up the second line up it one more time you can never check too many times it's perfect right at the second dot Goldy, goldy. Okay, so now that I just got the oil changed and everything is ready, I'm gonna start the car up. And uh, yeah, 
kind of noticed that I don't have maintenance required because uh, I did not let my oil go all the way to 10%. So I like to change mine at 30% or days are bad, we could do it at 20, but over there, you're gonna hold the reset button. This is how you reset the oil percentage. Once it starts flashing, you gotta let it go. Once it's still flashing, you hold it again. And in a couple of seconds, it should reset itself and it should be back at 100%. You should be good. 100%. That's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery. And you and